Know what it is, write your life movers and shakers. We here at Shua. About to go in and um get this endorsement cracking, man. Shout out to Terry Lipton. Good looking man. He definitely called us and say, hey, your number was picked. We're trying to see if you guys, you know, are interested in some of our you know, products. So, about to go up in here, taking it to the next level. New year, new beginning, new things. I don't know what you know about the company, but this company is about 86 years old now. I mean, yeah. Mr. Sure started this company in 1925. Mm. Yeah, basically, yes. <laughs> um, you know, as a radio parts company where you would buy parts for a radio and kind of build your own cabinet and put the parts inside. That's how he started it. And then somebody came along to him and said, and I got these microphones. And he's like, oh, I'll buy you, you know. <laughs> and he bought it. And then he started kind of, you know, playing around some things because he, he was really into electronics as a kid. And he figured, like, oh, well, I want to start building these microphones. So that's when he started doing it. <laughs> and I'll show you guys some of the stuff out there. But we could take a walk down. I think if we're careful enough, we could take a walk down. You know, I mean, that's another thing to keep in mind. Like, you know, there's a million artists out there that, you know, they'll go to a studio and say, well, I'm going to use my $10,000 tube microphone on you. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. Well, because it's $10,000. Right. But that might not be for you. True. You know? That's true. And that's just not how it works, you know? So you got people. That price is. The, the, the it doesn't really mean anything. Our hits come from the basement, yo. Like, we are who we are today. But that's the best stuff. Of working, you, know? Um, you know what I'm saying? Laptops. Yeah. The basement, none that's that how it's done. Now. And then, and then what, what you also got to know is that we do a gang of our records by ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do a song in our studio, cut vocals, cut guitar, cut drums, whatever right. we do by ourselves, turn the song into Sony. Sony, you know, they have their list of who's looking, send it over to Job. Job goes, oh my God, we need that song. Mm -hmm. And all we do is just do, we cut the vocals, leave a gang of the backgrounds on, and it's our song. Like, I won't say what all songs we've done that have right. just been all us, you know what I mean, on our side, that's just already ready made. Right. Like that is, I would say, probably about 75% of the process. I you know, what I'm trying to do is, you know, get guys like you, you know, these younger guys. Like, you know, like I said, we had that thing in the theater with these legendary producers and engineers. No, these guys are 60 some odd years old, you yeah. know, working with bands that aren't even around anymore, yeah. or they're dead. Right, right. It's like, you know, talk to guys like you and you're like, I don't know really much about your company. It's like, yeah. you know, yeah, right. so I'm trying to fix that, you know. Yeah, like, we got the phone call. We was like, sure, well, mm -hmm. and we talked it over. We was like, well, what kind of products do you know, you know these guys make? Yeah. We all know the mic, but it's kind of like at the point of being relevant with what's going on today. Mm -hmm. What's the marketing and the branding of that? Well, so I when think we, we sat and we thought about it, we was like, you know, honestly, not only can this be a, a, a big play for us, but it's like, yo, why not? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why not go ahead and try to be a trend leader and being with a company that's been around for ever? ever. Um, I don't know how far into your project you are now, as far as you know, doing any vocal work or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, everything. We start back up. That's we all day, day, every day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, every day. <laughs> so the studio's in LA, obviously. Yeah, we got one there. We got one here too. Yeah. yeah okay. The studio called the Boiler Room, Westside. Okay. And so we all were always working there, always. Now, what do you, I'm, what I'm, you guys I'm, like? Do you guys like? I use the beats right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, those suck. I, use, I love <laughs> those <laughs> suck. I love them. Well, you're not gonna yeah. love them after I send you mine. <laughs> What's up? I'm just kidding. They're all, they're all right. Now, nah, this is right. the thing, like. What do you love about them? What do they get? Mean, what, do they, listen, what do they sound like? The thing is, is like, I like to listen to the studio, and then I, I listen to, I got like the, the Behringer joints, uh -huh. the gray inside. Yeah. Like, I listen to. So you got a reference headphone, and yeah, then you've got then your listening. That's what people listen to music on. So right. like, beats. So you I'm, got your beats for the for the low end stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because those those have a lot of bass, right? Yeah. It's like, but I've that's what they're listening to. to. You know what I'm saying? So like, when you when you send music out or whatever. Nowadays, with music, the publishing companies and the labels, like they want to hear, they want to hear the hit. They don't want to hear 
you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a demo. Hey, we've been working right. so like we pretty much finished product mix as far right. as we can go on our side. Yeah, and so yeah. you put them in the trays and see how they sound. Get you guys a pair of these. That's the 840s, and that's got those are tailored to have a lot of low end. Mm -hmm. So like you said, like your beats, like that's what you listen. to. But what do you, do you have and a that reference I'll send headphone you four to? 440s, got it. Which are flat. Yeah, that's what I need. Which are yeah. what guys in the studio and guys like engineers, like sound guys mm -hmm. in the venues mm -hmm. want. Because they don't want anything colored because they've got to, mm -hmm. they want to listen to what the source is and then EQ it for the room. I'm that's all I'm saying. So. All right. But we'll and try we it out. Corey, appreciate you, bro. Good meeting you. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys yes, at, uh, in Anaheim, man. Yes, sir. We'll all right, man. next month. Yes, sir. I feel great, man. You know, I, I think that it's a blessing and an honor, you know, for a building this big to say, hey, we want to do an endorsement deal with you guys. It's like, what? Sweet, you know what I mean? So, you just never know. I, I mean, you never know. You get calls out of the blue, you entertain it just to see what's up. Wow! That's what y'all want to do, you know? So, it's all about not only the youth, but it's all about, you know, people being attracted to what's new, what's hot. <laughs> you get that? Sir. People being attracted to what's new, what's hot. <laughs> y'all got that. Right, you like We out. Yeah. Mm -hmm.